Hi, kindergartners. Welcome. I'm so excited you are here. My name is Mrs. Wheeler, and I teach kindergarten at Hazel Wolf K-8. Hopefully you were joining me for some of the lessons last week, but if this is your first time, welcome. I can't wait to spend the day with you learning together. Students, we've been spending the last few weeks reading nonfiction books. We've been doing so much work with them. We've been reading our books. We've been wondering. We've been thinking about our books. You've been talking about what you're reading and talking about your learning. You've been learning about text features of the nonfiction books and how you can use those. You've been talking about what the main topic of a book is and then retelling the key details. And you've been writing and drawing about your reading and learning. Wow, kindergartners, you have been doing some really amazing work around nonfiction books. We get to do more work around that today. Before we get started though, you're going to see me hold up a few signs, okay? You might see me hold up this sign that says, I am wondering. And I, when I show you that, you're gonna be thinking about what you're wondering. You might see me hold up this sign that says think time. I'm gonna ask you to stop and think, and then I'm gonna have you do some thinking right out loud in your home. And the last one you might see is the one that says turn and talk. And you're going to need a partner to turn and talk. In the classroom, we would turn and talk to our partner sitting right next to us, but we're not in the classroom right now, we're on our homes. So there's a few options you can use for turn and talk. You might pretend you're calling Mrs. Wheeler on the phone. You might talk to yourself and whisper to your hand. You might turn and talk to a family member if they're sitting with you. You might turn and talk with a pet if you have a pet in your home, or you might get a stuffy and you might turn and talk to your stuffy. I have my octopus stuffy here to help me during turn and talk. The most important thing, kindergartners, is that you are talking in whatever language you feel the most comfortable in. It is so important to be talking about our reading and talking about what we're learning. So make sure you're talking in your home, okay? All right, last week we read this book, The Moon, together. And it was a nonfiction book. It talked all about the moon and we did lots of wondering and we learned about the moon. Today, we get to read another nonfiction book all about the sun. This book is going to teach us about the sun. It's a nonfiction book. I'm gonna read the title to you, all right? The Sun. Let's look at the title page, kindergartners. Remember that that title page in books, it tells us three things. It tells us the title, the name of the book. It tells us the author, the person who wrote the book. And the third thing it tells us is the publisher or the company that made the book. This book, the title, it says Space, The Sun. The author is Charlotte Guilain, and the publisher is Heinemann Library. Now, oftentimes, the back of nonfiction books include a little extra information. So if we look at the back of this book here, there's a little extra that the author has put there. I'm gonna read this to you. The Sun. What is the name for the sun and the planets around it? Read this book to find out about the sun in our solar system. Readers, what do you think this book is going to be about after hearing that? Think time. Oh, I heard some of you share. You think that we're going to learn about the sun and the solar system. Let's look at one more feature of this book. Nonfiction books often include a table of contents or a contents page. And remember that the table of contents or the contents page is the page where we can find out what information we're learning and the page number to find that information. Let me read this to you. Contents, the sun, page four. What is the sun like on page six? The solar system on page 12 and the moon on page 20. Now that I've read to you a little bit about what we're gonna hear in this book, what is something you are wondering about the sun. What are you wondering? You might use, I am wondering. 
and I want you to turn and talk. What are you wondering about the sun? Go ahead and turn and talk. I see lots of you were turning to your stuffies and talking with them. Lots of you were talking with your family members and some of you were even talking just out loud doing your thinking out loud. I heard some wonderings. Are you ready to hear some of the wonderings that I heard happening? All right, I made a chart. It says, things we wonder about the sun. I heard one kindergartner share. Actually, I heard quite a few of you sharing this wondering, what is the sun? I also heard a few kindergartners wondering, how big is the sun? I heard another wonder that was asking, does the sun move? And the last wonder that I heard, is the sun hot? Those are wonders that we might be able to learn and find out some of the answers to while we read our book, The Sun. I'm gonna leave this wondering chart right here and we're gonna read our book. We're going to stop and do some thinking while we read and then at the end of the book, We'll come back to our wondering chart and we'll see if any of our wonders were answered. Okay, are you ready to read the book? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Okay, let's get started. The Sun by Charlotte Guilaine, illustrated by Heinemann Library. The Sun. The Sun is in space. Space is up above the sky. What is the sun like? The sun is a star. The sun is much closer to us than other stars. The sun is a giant ball of gas. Gas means not a solid or liquid. The sun is a giant ball of gas. The sun is very hot and bright. The sun is made of layers. Layers means it has different parts that are on top of one another. Layers. The sun is made of layers. The sun is hottest in the center. Center means the middle. The sun is hottest in the center. Center. Let's stop really quick and think. What did you learn about the sun so far? Turn and talk. Let's keep reading. The solar system. The sun and the planets around it are called the solar system. The planets move around or orbit the sun. The sun. The sun gives the planets heat. The sun gives the planets light. Earth orbits the sun. Earth, the sun. Living things on earth need the sun. The sun gives living things light. The sun gives living things heat. Let's stop and think. What did you learn about the sun in the part of the book you just heard? Turn to your partner, turn and talk. Let's keep reading. The moon. The moon does not make its own light. Light from the sun makes the moon shine. The sun, the moon. What did you learn about the sun and the moon? Turn and talk.
kindergartners, I heard so many of you sharing what you learned about the sun and the moon. I heard you share that the moon doesn't make light. And I heard you share that the sun makes the moon light up or shine. Okay, let's keep going with our lesson. Readers, now that we've finished reading our book all about the sun, what did you learn about the sun that surprised you? Take some think time. I heard a few kindergartners share that they were surprised that the sun is actually a star. And I heard another kindergartner share that the sun is really just a giant ball of gas. Those were really surprising things we learned. Now, were any of the things you wondered about the sun discussed in the book? Think back to our chart here. Were any of the things you were wondering discussed or answered in the book? I want you to explain your thinking. Go ahead, have some think time. I heard a few of you sharing how some of the wonderings that you had were answered. They were discussed in our book. Let's look back. I heard that one of our wonderings was, what is the sun? And if we look back here on page six, it says the sun is a star. It tells us what the sun is. It also shared on page eight, it said the sun is a giant ball of gas. So this book taught us what is the sun. We also were wondering originally that is the sun hot? And in our book, when we were reading, it talked about this. On page nine, right here, it says, the sun is very hot and bright. And on page 11, it also shared that the sun is hottest in the center of the sun. So two of those wonderings were discussed in our book and we can look back and find that. Now, I bet you still have some wonderings about the sun. What are you still wondering about the sun? You can use this prompt. Ready? Go ahead. What are you wondering? Kindergartners, I heard a lot of you sharing this wondering. I'm going to add it to our chart right here. I heard quite a few kindergartners wondering how far away is the sun? So let's add it to our chart. How far away is the sun? That's a wondering that we're still having after reading. All right, now it's time to jump into vocabulary and we're going to learn two new words from this book. Okay, here we go. Kindergartners, now that we've finished reading our book all about the sun, now we get to learn two vocabulary words about the sun today. This book is a book that teaches us all about the sun and it is full of facts. And can you say that word with me? Fact. That's our first word we're learning today. A fact means something that is true. This book is full of facts. Let me show you. On this page four, it says the sun is in space. That's a fact. That's something true about the sun, and this page is teaching me that fact. On this page, another fact is the sun is a star. That's another thing that's true about the sun, the fact. I'm going to read a few pages, and I want you to listen carefully, and I want you to think, do you hear any facts about the sun that I read? Okay, listen carefully. Here you go. The sun is a giant ball of gas. The sun is very hot and bright. The sun is made of layers. The sun is hottest in the center. Take some think time. What is a fact about the sun? 
You might use this prompt to help your thinking. You might say, a fact about the sun is, go ahead. I heard some kindergartners share that one fact they heard me read was that the sun is made of layers and another kindergartner shared how the sun is really hot and bright. Those were facts we learned about the sun. Here's our word for today. The word is fact. Say it with me, fact. In the picture, it says boats travel on water. This is a picture showing me the facts that boats do travel on water. That's something true. Let's put this right here on our easel for our learning today. Now, I wanna know, let's talk about some facts about ourselves. I'm gonna share some facts about me and then I want you to share some facts about you. Okay, get ready. I might use this prompt to help my thinking. A fact about me is, let's see, hmm. A fact about Mrs. Wheeler is I'm a teacher. I'm a kindergarten teacher. Another fact about me is I live in a house. And another fact about me is I have two dogs named Sadie and Zoe. All right, it's your turn. Take some think time. What's a fact about you? What's something that's true about you? And I want you to turn and talk with your partner. I'll leave this prompt so you can see. Share a fact about you with your partner. Go. I heard some of you share that a fact about me is I have a little brother. I heard another kindergartner share a fact about me is I live in an apartment and I even see, saw some friends giving the me too signal. And I also heard some friends share a fact about me is that I'm five years old. Wow, those were all of the facts you were teaching about me. Okay, now we get to do a little bit of visualizing, picturing in our mind, okay? I want you to picture your kindergarten classroom that I know you wish you were at right now. And if that's a little bit hard or you can't totally remember because it's been a few weeks, you can just picture your home or picture a room in your home or look around where you are, okay? What is a fact about your classroom or your home? Turn and talk, okay? Turn and talk. And you might want to use this prompt to help your talking with your partner. You might want to say, a fact about my classroom or home is, go ahead. Wow, I could tell that so many of you must really miss your classroom because I could picture your classrooms by hearing you share those facts. I heard some of you share a fact about my classroom is we have brown desks. I heard some other friends share a fact about my classroom is we have a library with lots of books. Some of you shared about your home. You said a fact of my home is it's on the top floor of a building. Wow, those were all facts that we shared. Say the word with me again, fact. Remember, a fact is something that is true. All right, I have another word to teach you, okay? Are you ready? The word is sphere. Can you say that with me? Sphere, it's kind of a tricky word to say. Sphere means something round like a ball. Let's look at this page here. In this book, The Sun, it's showing us that, guess what? The sun is actually a sphere. The sun is a sphere. It is round like a ball. Here's our new word card for today. Sphere, I'm gonna make it nice and close so you can see. Say the word with me, sphere. Look at all of these examples of spheres. An orange, a basketball, or a globe. Those are all round like a ball. These are all spheres. Okay, let's add that word card. Now I have a game for you. Are you ready to play a game with me? You might wanna help with your thumb and say, yes, something's a sphere, or nope, Mrs. Wheeler, it is not a sphere. The game we're going to play is, is it a sphere? And you're gonna show me yes, but I wanna hear you too, and then you can show me thumbs down, and I wanna hear your words telling me, okay? Here's what you're gonna practice. You can say if it's a sphere, the blank is a sphere because, and I wanna hear why it's a sphere, 
or the blank is not a sphere because okay i'm going to show you an object think to yourself and then talk out loud with your partner is it a sphere or not a sphere okay are you ready here's your first object a ball is a ball a sphere oh i heard some kindergartners sharing the ball is a sphere because it is round Okay, here's another one for you. A dice. Is a die a sphere? Hmm. I heard kindergartner sharing. The die is not a sphere because it is not round. And I even heard some kindergartner share it's actually a cube. Okay, here's another one. This one's kind of tricky. A piece of cheese. Is a piece of cheese a sphere or no? I tried to trick you, but kindergartners, you didn't get tricked. A piece of cheese is not a sphere. It is not round. It is a circle though, but it's flat. It's not round like a ball. Okay, I have one more for you. Ready? A baseball. Is a baseball a sphere? A baseball is a sphere because it is round. A baseball is a type of ball. All right, let's quickly review. Say the two words we learned. Fact, something that's true. Sphere, something that's round like a ball. All right, readers, it's time for IDR. Remember that during IDR, we've been reading nonfiction books, books that we can learn from. You might need some nonfiction books, and I'll show you here in just a minute where you can go to find some. You are also going to need something to do some writing and drawing with. You might want to use your literacy packet that you can get at the lunch sites. You can get it from the SPS website, or you don't even need the packet. You can just use a blank piece of paper or a piece of notebook paper, okay? We've been reading nonfiction books and we've been using those text features to help us understand more information. And we've been stopping and we've been thinking about our reading and we've also been talking about our reading. We're gonna continue that work today, but we're going to wonder. Readers, when they're reading, stop and wonder about a part. And when we wonder, it helps us learn more information and it keeps our brain thinking. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. The nonfiction book that I was that I'm reading today is all about kites. And I'm just going to show you part of it because when I got to this part, I stopped and did some wondering. OK, when I read this page, tails, many kites have tails. Tails help the kite to stay up the right way and to fly well. Some kites do not tails, do not need tails. Readers, when I read that page, I stopped and I wondered what did I just learn when I read that part of the book? And do you know what? When I was looking at this page, it made me wonder, how does a kite fly if it doesn't have a tail? So I had that wondering. And I even wrote it down on my writing right here. I'll show you. Look, on my paper, I stopped and I wrote what I wonder. Because I was thinking, what am I wondering about my book? What is it about? And what did I learn about it? So I wrote, I wonder how a kite can fly without a tail. I wonder how long the tail needs to be. And then I drew a picture to match my wondering. So readers, you might today when you're doing IDR, you might stop and wonder and you might ask yourself this. In this part of the book, I wondered, hmm, what did you wonder? in that part of the book. Yeah, that's what I did. When I was reading this kite's book, I stopped and I wondered, how, how does a kite fly without a tail? It was so fascinating. All right, readers, it's your turn. You have three jobs to do today. You need to read a nonfiction book. You need to talk about your book because when we talk about our books and what we're learning, it helps us understand the information more. And I want you to talk about what is your book about? What are you learning? And what did you learn from your book? Or what did you wonder from your book? 
Okay, that's your second job is to talk about it. And your third job is to do your writing and your drawing about your book, what you were wondering and what you were learning about. Okay, are you ready? All right, you might need some nonfiction books. Here's where you can go to find some. You're going to go to the SPS website. You're going to select student portal. You're going to click on academic tools and you're going to find PebbleGo, TumbleBook, lots of other resources with a bunch of nonfiction books. You can also go to Scholastic Learn at Home, where you'll find more nonfiction texts as well. Okay, kindergartners, it's time for you to go do your learning and your IDR. Thank you so much for joining me. We are missing our students so much. I bet you are really missing your teachers. Have a great day. Bye, kindergartners.